Howdy groupies, it is Mark from Groupable here and in this video we're going to learn how we record our authorizations to disperse funds. Your organization might call this a voucher, they might call it a warrant, they might have some other term of art for it, but basically it's that documentation that there's an expenditure being undertaken and that that expenditure has been authorized. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And it's a couple different ways you can get here. I'm just going to go to the left hand menu, financials, and I am going to go to disbursement authorizations here on the menu. So, one of the requisites to this is that you have set up your chart of accounts. There's a separate video for that. You'll want to go look at that. Also, if you haven't watched the financial overview video, it's a good idea to go back so you understand how the pieces of the system fit together and how the overall system is structured. Okay, so I already have some of these here. I've already created some. Basically, we've got a number, check number, dates, amounts, pays, and what it was for. These are all searchable. So if I wanna find out uh, like what we did for a fundraiser, what we spent on it, I can just look up those particular vouchers and who the pays were. So those are all that way. You can sort them, like I said do by date, whatever you want to do. Any one of these is also editable. And also if you need to add one, we click the plus. So by default, the system will look at what your highest current voucher number is and add one to it to fill that in here. If you don't have any vouchers, it's going to start out at one. You can override that and put whatever, what, whatever your number is for your next disbursement, voucher, whatever it is you call it. You don't have to have the check number because a lot of times you don't know it ahead of time. We default to the current date and we'll just say who the payee is here. So it's a Acme Insurance. We're going to pay our insurance bill here. And our insurance is about $2,500 for the year. And then I go over here and I select what account is this going to be. And so I've got expenses. I've got building. This is a building expense repairs. I actually, I don't have... An expense account for insurance so I can actually select insurance here click the plus sign fill an insurance the tab off of that that actually went and created the insurance building expense account so all I have to do is click post on that and that's going to post that out and that's really how easy it is to go ahead and record the authorization to disperse funds so this is a early version of the system. When this goes live, we're going to have a print button here so you can get a print version of this particular authorization because some organizations require an actual hard copy with signatures on it. That'll allow you to comply with that requirement from your parent group.